Cydia working because after you install the jailbreak, you'll find that Cydia does not work. And even after you perform one fix, you'll still need to perform another. But I'll be showing you how you can perform all those fixes in today's video. And hopefully this will work for you. And if this does work for you, you can feel free to leave a like on this video if it did work to show that it does for other people. And so now I'm going to open up the tool that we will be using, which is called Red Snow. And um, you've probably heard of this tool, but um, there are so many different versions that work for different devices. And so the version that you'll need to download for the iPhone 2G is version 0.9.4. It's really old, copyright 2010, but this should work. So next, you're also going to need to go to I, the web address ipsw.me and download a software restore file for the iPhone 2G for iOS 3.1.2. Even if your device is running 3.1.3, which it probably is, then you will want to download the version for 3.1.2 because that is the version that is supported by Red Snow and it doesn't make a difference even if your device is running version 3.1.3. So download that. As you can see, I already have it downloaded. So I'm going to click on it right here and you should see processing firmware and then it should say IPSW successfully identified. So after that, you're gonna wanna click next and then it should download some stuff and prepare some stuff for the jailbreak. It should say patching kernel, and it'll be on here for just a quick second. Preparing RAM disk, and next you should be on this screen, which says a bunch of options, and the one you're going to want to check is just install Cydia, which should be checked by default. You can also choose like custom boot logos and verb toast boot and stuff like that. But in this case, we're just going to click install Cydia. Next, we need to put the device into DFU mode. As you can see, the first step is to actually, if the iPhone is powered on, power it off by holding on the power button and sliding to power off. This is a very important step, so make sure you do this correctly. It might take you a couple tries, but you have to be ready because as soon as you click the next button, it'll immediately start the process on turning it on to DFU mode. So click next and then start holding the power button for three seconds and then start holding the home button without releasing the power button for 10 seconds as you can see on screen and then let go of the power button and keep holding for that's way too many seconds but i guess they're being safe in the newer versions of red snow it's only 15 seconds but the newer versions are not guaranteed to work so next it'll start doing a bunch of stuff as soon as it detects dfu mode it'll say waiting for reboot a couple times, uploading third stage, etc., etc., waiting for a reboot. And then after a couple times of this, it will show up on the screen with downloading jailbreak data, which um, it'll start doing some stuff on the screen. This is probably going to be one of the longer processes of this, but it, sh it still should go pretty fast depending on your connection speed and cable that you are using. But for me, it's actually going pretty fast this time. And then it'll upload the kernel patched kernel reboot and then it should say done and it says the rest of the process takes place on your device which it does but just to be safe don't unplug it from your computer but it should have a spinny logo here on downloading jailbreak data for just a couple seconds and then after like a minute or so it should come. okay so as you can see the device has finished and is now just rebooting normally and apologies for that on the bottom of the screen. This device does have some dead pixels. That's just how it is with these old iPhones, the 2Gs. I got it for a good price, so it doesn't really matter. It's just detected it, so we should... Okay, now we're booted up. And if you slide to unlock and scroll, you should see that Cydia has appeared on your device. So click on Cydia, and then give us some time to reorganize. And I might as well connect to Wi-Fi now. Okay. And then it, said, it says it will automatically close when done, and it will. This might take a minute, so I'll be back once it finishes. Okay, so after that's fr finished, and you reopen Cydia, it should show up with this. You need to click developer. You need to. 
You need to click developer, no filters. This is required. So now it should be doing a bunch of stuff up top. It should be loading in a lot of things. And this could also take a minute, but you'll find after some, after some time that it says, attention, this version of Cydia is no longer supported. Please upgrade to 1.1.x at your earliest convenience. So give it some time to do all that up top. And then after it finishes, you should get a message. And after it finishes, I will be back to show you that message. Whew. Okay, so this is the message you should get, error refreshing data. Just click OK, and then this is going to take a lot of time. It, this could take 8 minutes, it could take 30. Just let it reload the data, set it down for a while, get it, make a cup of coffee, do whatever. This is going to take a long time. I'll be back when it finishes. So as you can see, it has completed the data reload and this did take at least 10 minutes so it can take a long time but after you update Cydia it'll, it should go a little bit quicker so as you can see now it says five essential packages are out of date one or more are out of date if your upgrades are not performed it's likely you'll encounter errors like that one like this error up here so don't click upgrade as essential don't click ignore click complete upgrade and let it do its thing this should also take a while. Hello? <laughs> okay, so now look at all the things. It's installing the big boss icon set, all this stuff, and it's updating all these things, but the one that matters is Cydia Installer. The rest of these also do, but yeah, the main one is Cydia Installer. It needs to upgrade. So let's uh, let's click confirm and whew. As you can see it's gonna download all this stuff from the internet. Because it, whoa <laughs> my tripod. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go, I tightened it. So it's gonna download all this stuff and then it's gonna do all of this. So let it do this, and then I'll be back. Okay, so after it had to reload the data again, now it says restart springboard. So if I click this button, it should, well, restart the springboard. You can't really see it very well, but there is a spinny wheel there. And... The device just restart, res not restart, but resprung. And then if you click on Cydia again, it should load back up. But there will be a problem. And I'll show you that as soon as it gets loaded up. Okay, so, ah! Uh... <laughs> no, 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 not reloading again! <sighs> so basically, now that it's loaded up, the problem that you will be encountering is no matter where you go, it'll say unable to load untrusted server certificate. And it'll still be able to view sources and stuff like that, but it's super annoying because you can't access like a lot of things. You can't search for things. It'll just say network error. And this is actually due to um, a problem with it handling HTTPS addresses. So although you can still access sources and stuff like that, like Cydia, Telesforio, and all that, it won't be able to install correctly and you'll have a lot of problems. So how do you actually solve this? Well, the first step is adding a new repository, which I will show you. Okay, so the repository you'll want to add, just click on add. As you can see, this should show up. You need to add, you need to type in Cydia dot invoxy play games dot uk and then click add and then it will add the source and it will still say the network error but just wait just wait for a minute until it says reloading data 
And if you don't fix this, this will be happening whenever you try to install any tweak. It'll still install the tweak, but it'll be extremely hard to tell if something's been successful or not. And if you do get errors, you won't know why, because nothing works properly. So just let it reload the data. This should be going much faster now with updated Cydia. And I'll be back once this finishes. Okay, so once it says the network error, but the close button appears instead of reload or cancel, click that, and the source should be added right here. So click on that source. Click on all packages. And then click on Cydia HTTP patch. And then see the, see you can't even view any info about tweaks due to that. But just click install. Click on confirm. And then once again, just wait until it finishes. You won't be able to tell the progress due to the error. But just wait until the tweak installs. You can see getting the error, <laughs> but this will fix the error. Okay, so once again, after the data reloads and the button close appears instead of reload or anything like that, click on that, and then your device should immediately respring. As you can see, it's a bit glitched out, but eventually it will respring, and it will jump to your lock screen, unlock it, go back to Cydia, and now in real time here, I will just let it load. Waiting for activation. Again, this doesn't take too long. <coughs> and there we go. As you can see now, instead of the error, besides the glitch logo, everything should load normally. You'll be able to install tweaks like normal. Everything should work fine. You now have a jailbroken iPhone 2G with working Cydia, no errors, everything working fine in 2019. If you found this video helpful, leave a like to say you did, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.